Hi, I'm Jared with Major League Fishing. Uh, I'm the Senior Director of Advertising Operations and Analytics here. Uh, we're a company of about 80 people, but we're also a subsidy of Cronky Sports and Entertainment, which is much larger. Uh, Bright Cove has been really great for us, and I've rated a five. Before Bright Cove, we had a company called Uyala. Uh, Uyala was pretty good at what they were doing, um, and then Bright Cove actually bought out the company of Uyala, and we had a little bit of a uh, hurdle in the beginning kind of adjusting, but Bright Cove very quickly uh, adapted their program to exactly what we needed, and uh, since then it's been better than what we originally had with Uyala. Whenever we were looking at a video player, especially for our live streaming, because that's a core essential to what we do at Major League Fishing, is our live streaming events. Uh, we laid out probably about 15 different key components that any company would need for us to be able to do business with them. We sent it out to 13 different companies, and in the end, it came down to Bright Cove and one other platform. Uh, Bright Cove was very much uh, interested in adapting their technology to what we needed if it wasn't there already. And they wanted to keep everything in one platform, whereas their only competition in all the things that we needed uh, was going to end up splitting us into two different platforms so that we would have to work between the two and have constant back and forth and worry about that communication between those two points breaking. So in the end, it was an easy choice to choose Bright Cove simply because they made it easy for us. To be honest, getting started with Bright Cove was a little bit difficult. Um, we weren't necessarily using the software the same way as the as what we were using previously, and so we had a little bit of a bumpy start. However, Bright Cove support team and engineers were not going to give up on us, and they worked with us uh, a lot to make sure that we understood the platform exactly how we needed it, um, and make sure that they were able to develop the tools that we needed within their platform to make it so that it was easier for us. So if you're considering getting Bright Cove, my biggest piece of advice is to be open and honest with the rep that you're dealing with. If there's tools or things that you don't feel that Bright Cove has, let them know. Let them get you in contact with their engineering team. Uh, they're not afraid of trying to make sure that everything that you need is in their platform. And the only way they know how to grow is if us as the clients are out there telling them what we need. Uh, that's been my experience with them, and the more that I've been open and honest with what I need and what I need them to change, the greater the feedback I've gotten from them and the greater the relationship we've been able to build.